The rising price of gold is a big problem for the UK government. The traditional view of UK gilts, government bonds, is that they are a very safe way of investing your money. The UK government or US or other Western nations, we are told, this is the mantra, don't default on their debt obligations. So if you invest your money with the government, that money is always going to come back to you. Unlike the stock market or unlike investing in corporate bonds, where potentially those companies could go into insolvency, go bankrupt, where you could potentially lose all of your money, that with the UK government or other Western nations around the world, if you buy their bonds, that you are going to get a somewhat decent, traditionally, rate of return on your money in a very, very safe manner, right? So you're not going to lose your money. However, we are now in very unprecedented times where things are certainly changing. So just as an example, on the UK 10-year gilt, if we just go back 20 years ago to the year 2000, you would get 5% a year return on the UK 10-year gilt. If you cut forward to 2010, that dropped around 3 to 4%. So now you're only really getting in line with real inflation, three to four percent. So after inflation, you're basically only just just keeping your head above water. Now, if you cut to today, 2020, the UK 10-year gilt only returns 0.1 percent, not one percent, 0.1 percent, a tenth of a percent. Now, if we look at inflation, RPI, RPI at the moment, with everything that's going on in the world, is about one percent. But even if you just look a few months ago, pre-corona, we were looking at two, two and a half percent a year inflation. So you are getting well below the rate of inflation. So if you invest your money in UK gilts, you are guaranteed to lose money. Now, we're coming to the point of could the UK government ever default on its debt obligations? Let's look at everything else that's happening in the world now. UK debt to GDP above 100 percent. That's the threshold. That's the marker that that above, especially certainly once you cross the debt to GDP ratio of 100%, countries start getting into deep water. You start getting a real possibility that a nation with debt to GDP levels above 100% may default at some point in the future. Look at the deficits that the UK government is currently running this year. 300 billion, maybe half a trillion pound deficit just, just this year alone. So we're looking at deficits 10 times bigger than we previously seen as normal. And even those old normals were still uh, way too large. There was certainly worries even running the, you know, 30, 40 billion pound a year deficit. But that is completely unsustainable. We're now running 300, 500 billion pound a year deficit. So as the price of gold surges, as people essentially get 0% return on UK gilts, where is the sense in investing that money into UK gilts, into government bonds, government bonds in America, across Europe. Who is really going to take that choice as the price of gold surges and as owning physical gold has no counterparty risk? You do not need to rely on Boris Johnson. You do not need to rely on Rishi Sunak or Andrew Bailey. There is no risk. There is no political risk. You own that physical gold in your hand and it is probably going to offer a much higher rate of return. Yes, gold itself doesn't offer any interest but with everything that's happened in the world, with the money printing, with the recklessness, with the deficits, with Western nations facing bankruptcy, it's highly probable that the price of gold will surge. So what would you rather own? Would you rather own a UK 10-year gilt, which in 2030, you will to get a few percent back on your initial investment uh, and the inflation will have eroded away in any real terms the value of your money you're essentially guaranteed to lose with inflation unless you're anticipating massive amounts of deflation which i don't think's going to happen with the monetary policy and everything else that's happening in the world that you should probably predict maybe much higher levels of inflation than we're currently seeing bearing in mind the uk government lie about rpi it's in their interest to make inflation seem much lower than it is anybody that goes to the shops at the moment do you think inflation is really one percent even in the current corona environment i'm going to the shops just doing basic essential shopping food shopping clothes shopping everything seems to be going up at way more than one percent a year real inflation could be five six seven percent depending on exactly what items you're buying in the shops the 1% inflation, that's an absolute lie. It's going to be much higher than that. So by 2030, in real terms, the money you would have invested today, 
in the 10 year guilt with the UK government is going to be worth significantly less in 10 years time. Gold is probably going to be worth significantly more. So who does the UK government really think are going to be buying these bonds? There may be a few large institutions, large pension funds that have no other alternative but to buy UK gilts. But for average investors, um, I don't really see much benefit in loaning your money to the government, especially with a counterparty risk, especially with an increasing probability that we're going to start seeing bankruptcies sweep across the world. It may not happen tomorrow, but you're talking the next decade, the decade after that, it's going to be a much more realistic thing that could happen. So as gold surges, fewer people are going to buy UK gilts, fewer people are going to buy government bonds from around the world. And this is going to be a big headache for these governments. They're only going to be able to print money we're probably at the maximum effective rate of tax at the moment as they push taxes higher in real terms tax receipts will fall because it will just stifle the economy more rising price of gold it's a serious problem for the governments around the world because as gold surges as it's seen as a safe asset you're going to make more over the next 10 years it was there's a high probability you'll make more over the next 10 years in gold or in silver or in other tangible assets than you will invest in your money in government bonds or quasi-government bonds such as national savings accounts such as premium bonds they're all essentially a vehicle of investing money uh, with the uk government so those are my thoughts and opinions today the surge in price of gold is going to be a big problem for the government because as that money fades away that would have gone into gilts as it goes into other areas like the stock market like into precious metals that's going to be less pounds that the uk government has how are they going to plug their gap that will probably be the money printer Thanks for watching this video, guys. As always, gold is money. Everything else is just credit. Good luck and Godspeed, and I'll see you in the next video.